We were there live for you as this all developed. And tonight, the story of bravery that's just coming to light. It takes immense courage to jump into treacherous waters to save someone from drowning. Tonight, two local officers are being recognized for doing just that. Nine on your side, reporter Amy Wattis is live with their story. Amy? Carol, tonight, two police officers were jointly honored by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office and Marymount Police Department. And when they made the decision to jump in the waters of the Little Miami River to save a young man, they knew they might not come out alive, but they chose to do it anyway. I proudly present to you on the 8th day of July, 2013, the certificate of recognition. Deputy Nick Hobel and Lieutenant Tom Ossendorf, a young man wouldn't be alive today. On Tuesday, June 11th, both officers were sent to the Little Miami River in Marymount to rescue two people struggling to stay alive in the river. Tim Shepard was spotted hanging from a rope near the shore. Deputy Hobel and Lieutenant Ossendorf took their gun belts, bulletproof vests, and entered the swift moving water up to their necks without any regard to their own safety in an attempt to save the life of Mr. Shepard. There was a need. The young man was in the water. He needed help, and without thought, we both went in together. Without our actions, who knows what could happen tonight. They tried to find the other swimmer, 19-year-old Otis Andrews, but he'd been underwater long before they got there. His body was found two days later downstream in Anderson Township. There was still a uh, question of where he was at the time, and we did uh, make it quite an effort to uh, try to find him as well. It was uh, really very sad. Both officers also received an award of merit for Battler during the ceremony. It's everyone, actually. I, we certainly appreciate myself and Deputy Hobel. The, the support that we've gotten ever since this incident has been tremendous. We do this job not for recognition, we do this job to help people. And to be recognized this way is very humbling. And you know what, Carol and Clyde, both men say they would do it all over again. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live from Marymount. Good story to hear tonight, Amy. Thanks for that report. Cincinnati.